Yeah. Nah, if you make a mistake, I'm just gonna cut it out. Okay. So it'll make it'll look smooth it'll in the good. video. Okay. I just. What is up, everybody? We are back on the channel, and if you have been watching us for a little bit, I'm sure you remember this guy. He's got a Honda. Uh, today we're gonna be working on another Honda. We're not working on the Accord like last time. Um, we're working on a CRV, and as you can see by the title, we're gonna make this thing loud. Yeah, and we're not gonna be doing it like we did it last time. Um, I know last time we literally unbolted the muffler, so it's just dumping straight out to here. Oh. This is an actual newish car. Um, he doesn't want to do no stupid stuff to us. So we're gonna go through an actual uh, exhaust shop for it. We are six feet apart right now because you know the whole coronavirus thing. Doesn't look like that on camera, but it actually is. Aaron was gonna end up going for like an actual exhaust. So uh, why did you want to like get a custom exhaust? So what's like the main reason? Uh, I don't know to be honest. It's like really just like like the cost of getting a, another muffler. Just get a custom one. The price made me change my mind mostly. So you're broke. Yeah. Right. We're not broke. Right. I'm honestly really excited what this thing's gonna sound like. I like like hearing any car, like from before and after. I don't know about Aaron, but like literally anything. It can literally be a lawnmower, like from before and after. It just sounds amazing to me. I don't know. I just like hearing any really car coming from before and after. I'm not sure what this car's gonna sound like. Hopefully it sounds like a nice SI or something like that. Hopefully it doesn't sound like a lawnmower guy. Okay? But yeah, we're excited. Uh, what, are, what are we taking off? Just the mufflers? Yeah, just the mufflers. Just one muffler. Just one the muffler. The tailpipe. Yeah. Tail okay. The muffler and that's it. All right. All right, so let's go actually outside right now. We're gonna see the current stock exhaust. So this is what we're actually gonna be taking off is this tailpipe right here. So it goes from that tailpipe and then down. And there is another, I think a resonator right there. So that one like muffler should be just enough to get a nice note from it. Want a rough first day? A small one, right? So this is a little before of the rev. It actually sounds pretty good, guy. <laughs> All right, so enough goofing around. Let's get this thing loud. What? Past it. Oh, we did it really? Oh shoot! I didn't know that. This is it, guys. Then I'm getting a uh, 20 all around and the dark, dark circle here. Oh, yeah, man? Yeah. There you go, man. <laughs> Alright, so we just dropped off the car. Unfortunately, we can't like wait in the waiting room while we like, record like the actual welding part um, because of the coronavirus. But. I don't know. Coronavirus! <laughs> but yeah, uh, what we end up doing actually, we ended up just getting the muffler delete for now. Um, he's gonna end up cutting muffler off for us. He's gonna weld the pipe there and he's gonna get a nice, nice looking chrome tip too. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be back in like an hour, hour and a half, so we're gonna make out for now. Alright, so it is ready to pick up. He removed the muffler. I'm not gonna lie, the thing looks pretty mint. They ended up throwing a tip on it because before it would just dump literally straight out. So they didn't even have a tip to it before. And what they did, they literally just welded this pipe right here, got rid of the muffler. And uh, moment of truth, the first cold stop, Aaron. Let's do it. It sounds good, guy. Bro. It kind of has like an SI to it. it. Even though it doesn't have VTEC, but it sounds like an SI guy kind of. I like it. It's not crazy loud, but... Alright, don't worry too much, guys. I don't want to annoy anybody. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take it to our, our secret spot, and we're gonna get some more clips. And this is the muffler. So, she's not too crazy big, but she did enough damage. And in my opinion, it doesn't sound like stupid loud or anything. It actually has a good note to it, in all honesty. I feel like a 1.5 liter sounds pretty good. All right, go ahead, Aaron. That sounds pretty good, to be honest. It's not raspy or anything either, too. It has a good note to it. And it is weird, too, because it's an eco, so it'll literally turn off if you don't touch it, so it's kind of weird, but. Uh, 
Aaron's claiming he can apparently do pops with it now. So we're gonna see if he's a liar or not. Oh yeah, it's not doing it now, okay? I don't think he was doing a period, bro. Hey, it was, it was. I can do it when it comes out. No, yeah, by the way, it is an, an automatic, but we got some Triptronics. So we're making it work right now. It sounds pretty good with the Triptronics still. It'd probably do a bunch of crazy bangs and pops if it was a manual and honestly with the clutch, bro. It could, it could. I'm telling you, it's gonna hear a pop watch. <laughs> you hit a pop, okay? <laughs> I heard a baby one. This is like a little far. I barely heard it though. Hey, put it, put it neutral. I right, rev it. Yeah, folks, that sounds pretty good though. It sounds, it sounds like a supercharger, bro. When, all right. So this is gonna be concluding today's video. We're gonna be asking Aaron if uh, what's his opinion basically on the exhaust. So if anybody out there, there's probably gonna be a lot of CRZ owners watching this. Aaron's gonna be kind of giving his thoughts on the exhaust that we got today, which is just a muffler to lean on it. Uh, what what year is this? Uh, 2015. 2015 CRZ. Go ahead, Aaron. Well, I, I would recommend it because, you know, it's not too loud, not too aggressive. Remember the first video? Oh, the uh, freaking record, yeah. man. <laughs> I'll, I'll play a clip right here. You guys are yeah. going to see it. <laughs> it's it's kind of gross. Yeah, it was too loud, too obnoxious. But now, like, for this, you could pass inspection and everything, you know. It's nice and quiet. Yeah, there's literally no drone when you're driving it too. So if you're driving on the highway, if you're a commuter or something like that, it's it's, it's not going to be annoying or anything like that. Yeah. And when you rev it, you can see in the clips. It, it actually sounds pretty good. Like, it's not like too raspy or anything like that. It doesn't sound like a lawnmower. It's, it's, it sounds good, you know? It, I feel like it sounds like an SI for some reason. Even though it has no VTEC, but it sounds good. Yeah. And it's like, if you want just something to give you like a little like little loudness kind of to your car, I would recommend it. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be doing it for today's video, guys. I'm gonna be popping Aaron's Instagram right over here. So go ahead and follow him on his Instagram. He'll probably be posting something about a CRZ. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, if you do want to check that out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy Aaron, let me know down in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.